Hello dear students, how are you? Today we are going to learn something interesting about cyclic quadrilateral. So first thing is we will see what is a cyclic quadrilateral. So here I am going to make a circle and you see here that A is the center of the circle and B is a point which is on the boundary of this circle. So let me mark three more points on this boundary of this circle. We can mark these points anywhere. And now using the polygon tool, we are going to make a polygon by joining these points. Now you know that what is a polygon. Yes, it's a closed figure which is made up of line segments. So here you can see that when we join these uh, four points which are consecutive, we get a quadrilateral. So quadrilateral is a polygon having four sides. Now observe carefully that the vertices of this quadrilateral that is B, C, D and E, they lie on the boundary of the circle. So you observe closely that all these vertices of this quadrilateral, they are on the boundary of this circle. So such a quadrilateral is called as a cyclic quadrilateral. I hope you have understood what is a cyclic quadrilateral. So the definition is when the vertices of a quadrilateral, they lie on the boundary of the circle, then such a quadrilateral is called a cyclic quadrilateral. So you see here that if we move these points, we are getting a quadrilateral and all these points are on the boundary of the circle. Now, let us see what is the relationship between opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral. So, do they have some property? Okay. So, for that, what we are going to do is we will be using this angle measure tool and marking the measurement of these angles. So, I've got angle D. You know how to mark the angles. We are clicking on the vertices in the clockwise direction. Now to get angle B, click on C, then click on B, and then click on E. And uh, right now we are using the software GeoGebra, which you can download easily from geogebra.org. It's a free software. And uh, you can explore a lot of geometry on this software. So here you can see that we have now the measurement of all these four angles. Now let us see what is the sum of the opposite angles. So here opposite angles are angle B and angle D. So let us find the sum. So here in the input box I am writing sum 1. Let us take this as sum 1 is equal to and you see that here these angles are having the variable alpha and gamma. So I will be picking up the variables from here. So this is alpha plus and uh, the second one is gamma. So enter you see that sum 1 that is the sum of angle D and angle B, it is 180 degrees. Let us see what is the sum of angle C and angle E. And uh, here in the input box, I am taking this as sum 2. So sum 2 is equal to beta plus delta. So here it is beta plus and this is delta. Wow. Wow. You see here the beauty. Here the sum 2 is coming to be 180 degrees. So we observe that in a cyclic quadrilateral, the sum of 
opposite angles every time you see you are moving and getting a cyclic quadrilateral but sum 1 and sum 2 is not changing so that means opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary right so we have uh, explored a beautiful result today on this uh, cyclic quadrilateral that uh, sum of opposite angles is 180 degrees or in other words we can say that opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary i hope this is clear to you have a nice day